Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 112 scale Mezco Deadpool. So let's take a quick look at his accessories and then we'll take a look at the figure itself. So first up, here's his alternate head. Uh, it has the wide eye and one smaller eye. I like how it has that little detail in there where it has the folds in the mask and then in, in the black where you can tell if he's, uh, what his eyebrows are doing and everything like that. Really cool, I like the detail in it. Looks very realistic. Uh, Next, he comes with his left and right open hand, or sword hand, so you can fit the swords right in there. Here's his trigger finger, and all the detail in the gloves and all the hands look great. Um, they have all the black knuckles and the black fingertips. comes with one right open hand for the grenades that he comes with and he comes with one hang loose hand which I like a lot this is my favorite one hang loose all right taking a look at the accessories now he comes with two uh, handguns with the Deadpool symbol on each holster they look pretty good Nice silver detail on the top, and then the Deadpool symbol on both sides. It's really good. Then he, <clears throat> then he also comes with four little Deadpool grenades, which again have the Deadpool symbol on the left and right side. Uh, he also comes with eight shotgun rounds that fit into his holsters on his shoulder. We'll get into that soon. <clears throat> and here's his AR rifle. And it looks pretty badass. Has the scope. Everything. Looks really cool. Not sure if the clip comes out or not. So I'm pretty sure it is, I just don't want to take it out. And I'm pretty sure you could fit one of the uh, <clears throat> shotgun rounds or grenade rounds in there. And the detail in this... Uh... <clears throat> and here's his AR, automatic rifle. The detail on it's really, really nice. Uh, I like that it came with that scope. It has the grenade launcher. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you could take the clip out and whatnot and I'm pretty sure one of those shotgun rounds or grenade rounds fits inside the barrel right there but the detail on this is really good uh, it's really clean realistic looking so I like the AR a lot and last but not least and last but not least his two swords that I like a lot that came out really nice very detailed and taking a closer look at the blade, I'm not sure if those marks are supposed to be there or if that's just a manufacturer thing. It looks kind of cool actually. But I like the uh, marks on the side right there that you can see in the reflection. And then the handle looks really good as well. Alright, and here's Deadpool with all his gear on, looking pretty damn cool. Uh, I saw him at Comic-Con, and I thought he looked badass in person. I know in, I know in pictures he looks... In pictures, Mezco figures don't really look the best, but in hand, in person, these things are really, really cool. You know, I don't, I, I don't know what your opinion is right now looking at the figure, but it's a pretty badass figure. 
All right, so actually taking a closer look at Deadpool, I think his costume came out pretty badass. Um, the, the, the head looks really realistic. Uh, I'm glad it's plastic rather than cloth like the rest of the figure because it just gave it more of, you know, that real look or like real expression. I don't know. It, it would have sucked if it would have been cloth. We all know that. Um, but I really like the, the grenades on his shoulders right there, the way they fit perfectly in the thing. Uh, I really like his swords in the back, they fit perfectly, they look badass, it's a badass design. Um, the costume is the same all the way through, uh, pretty much his classic costume. Uh, it's the current Deadpool in the comics, that's one thing I did want to check. So this is his current look in the comics. Alright, so taking a look at, a, at the back of the figure, I really like the way the sword sheaths came out. Uh, they look metal, they feel really good on the figure, they have like a metal feel to it. Uh, the pouches on his belt came out really good, the gun holsters came out really good. Uh, I like how you can see the Deadpool face outside of the holster. And the, uh, and the uh, forearm guards look really good, the guns look really good on the side, the belt came out really good. Uh, bottom of the boots looks really good Again, it has like a, a really good metal feel to it and then the dry brushing and all the paint details are really good on it And then the red on the shoes matches the red in this costume, which is really cool The only thing I kind of don't like about his costume is you can kind of see the nylon texture I don't really know if the camera's picking it up, but I took a few pictures and it was definitely there in the shots kind of like gave it a weird effect So that's one thing for me so I was talking to a few people about the figure and everybody seems to love this figure but everybody's biggest gripe is the shoulder right here. Anytime you move it, this pleather leather material right here gets bent up and you really can't leave them in a pose for too long because that stuff will get messed up. But I think it looks good because you can see his shoulder muscles and the tricep right there. Looks really good. You know, turn the head, make him punch somebody. But I can see what people are talking about because this could get messed up and warped over time and just having him in a basic vanilla pose, this will be sticking out and it'll look like he's from the 80s with those shoulder pads. Uh, one thing that does bother me in the head is the kind of like turtleneck effect because the mask and the costume don't go hand in hand, it kind of looks like a turtleneck. That was kind of the one thing that was turning me off on this figure. But again, in person, these things are just so badass. And that's exactly why I bought this guy. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and get into his articulation. The head could pretty much 360 on the peg. Left, right. Looks up a really good amount. And down as well. Um, the arms, you do not want a 360 because you will mess that up. But uh, that's the highest... I want to get that to go right there. So again, that's like that. But then you, know, you could always kind of work it. Get it to go higher like that. Double jointed elbows, which is freaking awesome. Then we have a, the wrist on a ball joint. So that pretty much does a lot. I gotta find it. There it is. And then he doesn't have a lower torso swivel, but I do think it has an upper swivel now. Feels like it did. I think I can get him to turn a little bit. Feels like it's there. But the legs kick out that much. That much. Go back. Double jointed knees, peg at the bottom. Uh, these do not swivel. Foot is on a peg. Uh, it does have some, does have a pivot front and back, but not really side to side. Better than Punisher, that's for sure, and Cat, for sure. But articulation is decent. It's on par with all the other Mezco figures that I have, so I'm happy with it. 
And for size comparison, here he is next to the Mezco Punisher and Mezco Captain America. Uh, they all seem to go shoulder to shoulder and head to head, so I think the body underneath is the same on probably all three of them, uh, but the boots are different. One thing that bothers me looking at them side by side is Punisher's feet are freaking tiny. They gave him some tiny ass boots, and then Deadpool kind of looks like he has clown feet, and Captain America's are appropriate. They look good on him. But yeah, that kind of bothers me about the feet. But yeah, size comparison, they, they go really great next to each other. Alright, so here I got the Mezco Deadpool next to some SH Figure Arts, Bruce Lee, and Gogeta. Um, this is my last Dragon Ball SHF figure, uh, so I decided to keep that one, you know, since it's Goku and Vegeta merged. But uh, as you can see, Deadpool towers over him, and they do not scale together. And over there I got the Bruce Lee, and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, they don't scale in well with each other, as you can clearly see. Clearly see. <clears throat> Alright, and here I have the Mezco Deadpool next to the articulated icon Solitaire. Which they look pretty good next to each other. Deadpool's head's a lot bigger and his body's a lot better, bigger. But I think with camera angles that would work out. And I do not have the Mezco Wolverine. And I don't think I could spend $150 on the Mezco Wolverine. Uh, but here I got the Yamaguchi Wolverine, which is my favorite right now. I think he scales in perfectly with this, uh, with the Deadpool. Because Wolverine's short as hell. And he looks about maybe half a foot to a foot shorter than Deadpool, so I think that works out really well. Alright, so all in all, I'm really happy with this figure. Um, Yes, the articulation isn't the best on him, but I, I went into this knowing that. I, I bought this figure aware of that fact that his articulation isn't the, the greatest, but I do feel like these figures are very photogenic, and they look really great in the Detoff, so that's my main reason for buying this figure. Um, if I had to score it, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, 7.5 because it's a aesthetically it's a great figure its looks are awesome it moves really well uh, the only thing is the pleather on his shoulders will be warped over time if you keep him displayed a certain way and the articulation not being the greatest are my only complaints about this figure so uh, if you're looking to buy this guy I highly recommend him it's a really dope figure um, Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of Deadpool, if you own him, or if you're looking to buy this figure. And leave a like, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.